What's up, everybody? It's Dark Stride of the YouTube Assassin. And as if this week couldn't be any bigger, we already got our weekly. We already got a weekly epic ship. We already got Steropes, the uh, Lightning Brigger quest, which gives us a brand new bow. And then today, this Thursday, we also get a whole lot more added in the brand new update 1.07 as you can see already visual customization system which i can't believe that's actually pretty awesome you could actually change the way you want the gear to appear so you have your uh helmet and you just go to the system and you get to like look at everything else that you've got here and you could just change the way you want it to look which is just really insane. So you keep all the benefits of the original item, but you get to make it look like something else entirely. So there we go. That's just absolutely insane. So you get to design exactly how you want your character to look without losing any of the attributes of that gear. So that's pretty intense there. And of course, you have to go and get all these items and whatnot uh, you know, these are things that you're going to be picking up here and there. So that's how, you know, you get all the different customization items. And then, of course, there are other customization items that you could get when you actually go and uh, you get to uh, change it. You get to uh, just reach new levels, as you can see. So we have the different variations. Next variation unlocks a 55 for this which is pretty cool. On top of that, I went to the ability screen and eight ability points. I don't know if they just give that to you or they just figure that that's how many ability points uh, you had from doing everything. As you can see, I have 74 ability points in total, which is complete madness. And I haven't even leveled up yet. So add to that another 20 points, that's gonna give you 94 points in total that's that's absolutely insane because we're going to get all the way up to level 70 so that's just absolutely crazy so let's see all these items you unlock some of them have ranks of three in fact i think most of them do so one two three six nine so you've got uh you've got 12 you got 24 and then over here you only have 11 so that's 35 so if i if you have 94 uh points in total holy cow 94 points in total you're just like 11 points short of having every single ability and just missing three points of them in order to have three ranks of every single ability you would have to have 105 ability points. And I don't think that there are any more stelae for me to go out and, and get. At least until uh, until they update it with the DLC. Maybe in the DLC we'll get some more. But I'm pretty sure I have every single stelae that was out here. As we're looking on this map that I have that shows all the fragments, all the uh, legendary chests... I'm pretty sure I got all the stelae. That is absolutely amazing. So this is going to be really big for how we're able to adjust everything. So be prepared to see new builds. That's going to be absolutely amazing. We're going to be doing all kinds of stuff. And then on top of that, we're not even we don't even have new game plus. So apparently apparently they're doing big things trying to keep you interested in this game which is sick along with all this almost godly power that we're going to be getting we also have a new quest over here uh in this section of the world it's going to be like across from attica basically uh we're going to come to this corner and you're going to find test of judgment which is divine intervention now this is the third quest that we get uh, from the epic feats or whatever, those three new uh, trophies that we had gotten recently. Uh, the first one was the show must go on, and I did a video on that yesterday. The second one was the Steropes one, which 
you know, we did at the beginning of this week on Tuesday. And now they unlocked the third one, which is right here. And I'll be doing a video on that and showing what the prize is and whatnot. So again, like this is a huge day. Now, on top of which I also notice, and this is pretty crazy, when you go to some of your engravings, if you notice like right here, I'm looking at the fanged bow. And if you look at the 20% poison damage, it now has two extra dots on the right hand side. And there are a bunch of items like that. Here we go, 20% adrenaline per crit. So maybe now you have to increase what you were doing in order to unlock those things. So let's see. Uh, it doesn't say anything. So maybe you have to level up because over here it shows, you know, you have to complete all the Enigmata Ostrakas in order to get that. So maybe by leveling up, we'll unlock even further crit damage, further assassin damage. What the heck is going on? You are going to be absolute beast mode. This is going to be crazy. Then on top of that, we go over to the mercenaries. And if you hit the L3, you get to see the detailed mercenary benefits, which is pretty cool. So at tier nine, it shows uh, you get economic benefits from moving higher tiers by eliminating mercenaries of higher ranks all the way down to tier one. But it only says that only the strongest can hold this ultimate position amongst the mercenaries. So I don't know if you get if it's kind of like Patreon and you get all these benefits, you know, from the previous ranks and everything. Because it just looks really crazy. A talented Misty Elf who have 10% better luck at finding great items in the world. Hmm. I'm going to have to test that out and let you know what my findings are. That's pretty wild. Uh, also, your ship. Look at this. Your ship is further upgradable. What the heck, man? You could, even, you could have your ship even more powerful. Unfortunately, I don't think that it's going to give us uh, any more lieutenant holds. It, I don't think so. Yeah, those are all the lieutenants I have. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to let us go any further with them. But that's still kind of cool. Like, I can't believe that you're upgrading the ship even further. So now your ship could be super OP, which is going to be absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know what the heck is going to happen when we go on the high seas and, and we start just demolishing everything. Look at this. The arrows isn't even completely yellow. And I just did it twice. They, oh, same thing with the fire volley. Oh my goodness. Look at this, plus 50% javelin damage on the next level, on the next level. This is insane. Look at this. Oh my goodness, like I can't even believe this. This is a lot of stuff to take in. Then my abilities, here's my abilities so far. I went deep assassin and, you know, deep hunter. Uh, on my next level up, I'll hit like one of these uh, to complete this third rank. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with all those extra points. I'll figure it out as I go along, though. I'm also interested to see what happens with all these ranks. If these improve, if these do anything for you, that's just going to be absolutely amazing. There's just so much that they did for us in this, uh, in, in, this uh, in this update. It's just it's completely crazy. Look at my damages now. Whereas I've had 250% in some places, now it's even further up. This is going to be sick and it's only going to raise as we go along. So I'm just blown away as to like what's going to go on, what's going to happen here. I'll let you know further details as I go along. But for now, all I'm going to do is go around, do a couple of quests, beat up a couple of things. And then, like I say, I'll do a video later on showing you exactly what's going on with what and just how OP you can become. Uh, obviously, the XP is going to take quite a while to, to build up but then again maybe not because there are certain tricks like I showed you there are certain tricks in order to gain more XP so we'll see what happens like here look at this uh, 9153 out of 5700 and wow okay so almost over half a million in order to get that so I'll get it quick and I'll let you know what happens further along Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out an awful lot. And as always, thank you for watching. Good luck and happy hunting.